Hi, in this recording, we are going to find out some properties of intersection of subgroup. Suppose H1 and H2 are finite subgroups of G with identity element E. First, we're going to show that the intersection of H1 and H2 is also a subgroup of G. First, we make a reference to John Frontline's text, the first course in abstract algebra. Page 52, Taylor 5.14. It says that a subset H of a group G is a subgroup if and only if H is closed under the binary operation in G. We call it SG1. 2. The identity element E of G is also in H. We call it SG2. 3. For all A in H, it is true that A inverse is also in H because S3 3. So let's show each of these properties are satisfied for intersection of H1 and H2. First, subgroup of D1, closure. Take X and Y belong to the intersection of H1 and H2. Then we know X and Y belong to H1. Therefore, the product of X and Y also belong to H1 by closure of H1. Similarly, x and y belong to h2 as well, so the product xy belong to h2 by the quotient of h2. Having this xy belong to h1, xy belong to h2, so xy belong to h1 and h2. Therefore, you start with x and y belong to h1 and h2, you find out the product is also belong to h1 and h2. So, h1 intersect h2 is closed under the same binary operation as G. Second properties, identity. Since H1 and H2 are subgroups of G, so the identity element E belongs to H1 and also E belongs to H2. Therefore, E belongs to the intersection of H1 and H2. So the second property, SG2, the second property, SG2 is satisfied. Third property, inverse. Take x belong to the intersection of h1 and h2. Then we know x belong to h1. So x inverse belong to h1 by the inverse of h1. Similarly, x belong to h2. So x inverse belong to h2 by the inverse of h2. So combine these two together, we know x inverse belong to the intersection of h1 and h2. Then every element in h1 intersect h2 has an inverse. With all these three properties, S3-1, S3-2, S3-3 satisfy. So we conclude H1 intersect H2 is a subgroup of G. Next, if order of H1 is 7, order H2 is 11, so that H1 intersect H2 is only the identity element. For this, we are going to use the Lagrange theorem, which can be found on page 100 of the text, theorem 10.10. .10. It says that let H be a subgroup of a finite group G, then the order of H is a divisor of the order of G. And this is how we go about this. First of all, we already know in part 1, H1 intersect H2 is also a subgroup of H1 and H2. Therefore, by Lagrange theorem, the order of H1 intersect H2 divides both the order of H1 and order of H2. But the greatest common divisor of order of H1 and order of H2 is the greatest common divisor of 7 and 11, which is 1. So the order of H1 intersect H2 is 1. So the subgroup H1 intersect H2 consists of only identity element. That finished the proof. That is the end of the recording.